Welcome back loyalty, this is Robert Lowe and I wanna give you guys some few tips about copyright. Now, copyright has been something that you guys have been asking me about since day one. I put out a video about how to start your t-shirt line and you guys have been asking me about copyright since then. And I have been trying to research it and give you guys the correct answers because I don't want you guys to be out here looking bad or I'm giving you guys advice that you guys don't really need and stuff like that. But I'm gonna go ahead and start this video off by saying, if you guys need copyright for your designs, it's not necessary, you really don't need it, but if you absolutely do and it's recommended that you do do it, go to copyright.gov. Copyright.gov is like the spot for every graphic designer. Anytime a graphic designer makes something, they upload to copyright.gov. It's nothing but like 15, 20 bucks to do. And that just means that you have that protected in your image. Now, if you guys want like your logo done, if you want your trademark for that, you know what I'm saying? That's 100% necessary. But your copyright for your designs, not really. Unless somebody's gonna steal your artwork and say that they made it themselves, then that's a problem, you know what I'm saying? So it's it's like you do need it and you don't need it, but you kinda do, you know what I'm saying? Like there's, there's that in between that says, do it, don't do it, all right? So that's number one. Go ahead and get your stuff copyrighted. Unless you really don't need it. <laughs> Here's something that I've been talking to you guys about for a little while, and it kind of starts from the root of my actual channel, you guys, from the very first one that I had, which is stealing images off the internet. I really am not a fan about that, and I'm gonna talk to you guys extensively about this because that is a huge problem in the community. Everybody goes through it. You want art, you don't wanna ask a designer or a photographer to take these pictures or do these pictures for you, but you wanna get those off the internet unless you know the person personally, I wouldn't do it. I just wouldn't do it. And here's the reason why. Let's just say I had a model and the model was shooting for Nike and Nike did whatever they had to do with it, but they left the images out or whatnot. And you know, they put it up on the internet for people to see that, you know, this model here, model for Nike. Now you go on the internet and you find that and you use it for your business, use it as a mock-up or whatnot, because I show you guys how to make mock-ups. Um, you took the picture off the internet and you pretty much using it for free to sell your designs. And that's, I guess that is kind of fair use until you start selling it, you know what I'm saying? And they're looking at this like, whoa, I didn't take this picture for you guys, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna be like, I didn't take this picture for you guys. And the model's gonna be like, did I get paid for this? You know what I'm saying? Like I thought I was shooting for Nike and Nike paid me for it, but who is this guy, you know? That's the problem with taking internet pictures, you know what I'm saying? And then another problem is, even if it is, you know, good for you to use, like non-copyright pictures and stuff like that, you're still going to get hit with somebody saying, well, this is my image. Like, why are they stealing my stuff and putting it on the internet? You know what I'm saying? Or this t-shirt that they're making, I don't know, anywhere between 7 and $15 off of. Like, that's a ripoff to my life, you know? People are always going to feel cheated in some type of way. So when I say stay away from the internet, stay away from Google searches and stuff like that, it's kind of a thing that you guys got to kind of like agree with because you don't want to cease and desist. You don't want to wake up one day, come downstairs, somebody's knocking on your door like boom, boom, boom. Are you such and such name? And you're like, yeah. And they pass through this package saying you've been served and you need to get your business together and get your lawyers up because we're going to meet with you. And chances are you're not going to have the money to get the lawyer. Like if you're stealing images, you're probably gonna get sued and you're probably gonna get sued with a big fine. It's not gonna be nothing small. They're gonna be like, I want everything that you own. I want your house, I want your car. I want everything. So you wanna stay away from that type of thing. I don't want anybody getting in trouble when it comes down to taking images off the internet. Now that I got these two things clearing out the air, like there's more things I wanna talk to you guys about because those were the first two things that a lot of people came to me about. Well, can I use internet stuff? Can I copyright my own designs because I don't want nobody stealing my images and stuff like that? Yes. This is things that you guys need to know before I move forward with anything else. Now, here's something I want to lay out to you guys. Like, I always get questions about it. I always get some type of request to do it. It's a problem, but it's not really a problem. It just really fits into this kind of perfectly, right? The thing that I have a problem with is people asking me about lyrics. Now, lyrics is not a problem exactly, but it can lead to something different, you know? I can make the shirt for you guys. I can make the lyric shirt and it be 100% cool. But the way you guys sell it, it, there's a problem. So if it's a quote from like Will Smith, let's just say Fresh Prince of Bel-Air type thing, right? And it's amazing, an amazing design and stuff like that, that you're not using his image, which I'm gonna talk about a little bit later. Then yeah, cool, list it. But here's the thing, when you list it, make sure you put in like the description of like that shirt 
that this is a quote from Will Smith, you know? You're gonna get caught and he's gonna be like, well, I didn't authorize this. There's cease and desist. Let's just go ahead and send out the packet. Don't get caught up with that because that's a huge problem in every community. That's a, a knock to everything. And then you're gonna come to me and then I'm gonna get in trouble because you didn't do this because you're scared. If you're scared about it, you're gonna get caught and it's gonna be hard for you and it's gonna be hard for me. So I have to turn down those requests unless I know that you're a very sincere upfront type of person. A lot of designers got to turn down that request because they don't want that to happen to them where you take that to the designer and now the designer's in trouble because you didn't do what you were supposed to do. Using famous quotes is almost like stealing somebody's brand identity. Do not do it unless you're prepared to actually give credit to that person who said it. I woke up like this. Of course it's Beyonce. Everybody knows Beyonce. But if Beyonce saw that shirt and she didn't see her like recognition in it, she's probably gonna be like, I'm gonna sue you, all right? Like, don't get into it. Like it's gonna happen and it's gonna be a problem. But that's just something that you guys have to understand. Like you don't wanna just be using famous quotes and not quote that person, give them their credit, all right? Now, another problem that we have in the community is using characters like Pokemon and Digimon and Dragon Ball Z people and stuff like that and not parroting it, okay? Like you need to learn how to parody. I know that gets kind of rough because you're not always creative. Like unless you are creative and you do not a parody, then that's not a problem. But if I see Goku and I can clearly say that's Goku, then that's Goku. That's gonna get you in trouble, all right? But if I see something that looks a little bit like Goku, you know, it's not really him. It's like another Saiyan or something like that. It's clear. We know that this is not Goku, but he looks like Goku and he's wearing his gi. That's a parody. Okay, that's a parody. All right. I see Pikachu. You see Pikachu. It's Pikachu. All right. Don't sit here and say it's not. It's there. Like, we know. Don't use it. Parody. Make it a pop. Make it something different. Take the way the art aspect and do it in your own light. All right. Parody these people. Don't copy. And with this, I want to talk about something that's kind of near and dear to my heart near and dear to almost every designer's heart photographer and this has kind of created a beef between both of us or whatnot which is the shepherd fairy problem which is the obama hope poster that he made it's like a t-shirt and he was selling all over the place back in 2008 2009 now he got sued for that he got sued for that but it's not because of he used the picture or anything like that like he used obama's image because you can use political figures in your images and stuff like that you can do that that's not a problem he got sued because he took a photographer's picture and he put it on there and he tried to you know fix it up in a way that took away from the original image but how much of that can you say is the original image and not? You know what I'm saying? I don't even know if to say like, don't do it or do it. If you're going to get caught, you're going to get caught. Like, I don't know what to tell you on this one. This is your judgment. But I usually tell people, Shepard Fairey got caught doing it. Pretty much got put in jail. He had a fine. And, you know, I guess he's still selling them. I don't know. You know, I don't see it that much anymore. But... That's just something you guys want to watch out for. People's intellectual property and creative vision is theirs. This is the reason why you want to like copyright. You know what I'm saying? Like you want to copyright because you don't want nobody infringing on your stuff, right? So copyright.gov. I always tell people that if you want to do it, copyright.gov. Do it. It's not a problem. And if you guys have a line or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Tell me if you have problems with copyright. What are you trying to put together and get out there for the world to see? I want to know. And if you guys generally learned something today, if you guys found these tips helpful or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. I'm here to talk to you. As a matter of fact, I do this all the time. So you might as well just subscribe if you're not and bail me because I'm putting up a lot of videos going forward. This is January, you know, of 2018. January 2018, I want you guys to have successful creative businesses. I want you guys to be able to sell your shirts and there's no problem as far as copyright go. You can put your stuff on Spreadshirt and they're not going to take it down because it's yours, all right? Like, you can do it. So, I want to know what you guys got going on. Let me know in the comment section below. But with that being said, you guys, I got to get up out of here. So, stay amazing, stay creative, but above all else, stay awesome. Stay awesome.